Hi friends, welcome to this uh, tutorial from SNS Technical Training on Red Hat Linux. Uh, let's uh, do a deep dive. Uh, so let's uh, first start with the file system hierarchy. So the first uh, thing which we should remember is the slash is the root or the main parent directory. So if you do a cd slash, you will land up there. And if you do pwd, you will be able to see that you are on the root or the main parent directory. So there are multiple different uh, directories uh, inside this so to see that you can do ls and ltr you will be able to see these are the multiple different uh, directories which are present each of them has their own importance uh, so we'll be seeing uh, the important one and we'll be understanding what are the importance of those uh, uh, folders and why they are present so let me first uh, log in with the root user uh, so that we have uh, complete access uh, so let me go to the slash so I am let we can do the PWD and we can see uh, we are on that uh, slash uh, or the parent directory and uh, now let's do so now let's deep dive into the different uh, important uh, file systems so the first file system which is there is the slash root so slash root is the default home directory for the root user so whenever the root user will land it will land in the slash root uh, user so cd slash root so you can see this is the uh, <coughs> this is the the home directory for the root user so this is so each of the users which we create will get their own uh, root uh, home directory so this is the default home directory for our root user the next very important uh, folder is sbin so sbin it this contains uh, root user super privileges admin commands so slash s pin if you can go here so ls hyphen here so there are these are the different commands so these are the and uh, these are the commands which we can use all of them are the different commands and each of them can be used by root super user or admin so uh, these are not uh, used on daily basis so that is why they are kept in your s pin the next uh, important uh, folder is slash pin so this is this is the uh, this also contains the same set of uh, of commands and it is used by the normal user so these have the commands which we do which we make use on day to day basis like like cp your uh, uh, if config uh, your mount command, your ls command, your su command, unmount command. So all of them are present inside this, your man command, tar command. So all of these commands are present inside your uh, bin folder. So bin can be used, uh, is mostly used by the normal user. Uh, uh, a normal privileged user can use this. And uh, the commands which are present inside is bin. Uh, are mostly used by the admin users so the fourth uh, uh, important folder which is present here is uh, the home directory uh, so this is the this is the directory which is used for normal user so cd home so let me go to home ls finals here so uh, as many users uh, we create here so there uh, uh, folder will be created and the content and inside them will have the so this will be the root uh, home directory for that particular user so uh, if we create one user so his new folder will be created here and then whenever he logs in into this terminal or his terminal he will be uh, present at the home directory so that is uh, the use of home the next one is etc uh, so etc contains all the uh, configuration files so it's again a very important uh, folder it contains uh, uh, the configuration files all the important configuration files there you can see you have the configuration file for yum you have the configuration file for your user and password and groups which you have created and a lot of uh, all the you have the configuration for your cron tabs and uh, what is the release all, all these uh, configuration files are present inside your uh, etc directory so it's again a very important uh, directory uh, 
So the next one is uh, slash where. So let me show you LSI funnel here slash where. Uh, slash where it contains all the log information so all the system level logs or any logs which uh, are being generated it will be kept inside this uh, where folder uh, it will have logs all the, all the things all the things all the applications or your application which are being installed they will uh, use this where and the system level logs will go inside this where folders so if there is any issues in your operating system so you can come into this where uh, folder and get the logs from here the another important folder is uh, opt uh, optional it contains installation and third party packages opt stand for optional it's contain installation and third party packages slash opt so you can have uh, installation files and third party packages are present inside this so the next one is uh, media the media contain a removable disk, USB and CD-ROM. So when you connect any uh, third party media and all, so it will be present inside this particular folder. Right now there is nothing connected. So if I connect a USB, then uh, I will get a, a folder here with the USB name. So another very important folder is uh, temp slash temp. Let me see, uh, let's see the so temp uh, it contain temporary file information so whenever we do any any manipulation uh, it will be kept in this uh, temporary files and it will be uh, deleted on regular basis and uh, another very important folder is uh, slash boot slash boot it contain the bootable uh, file information uh, it contain all the bootable file information so these files are used uh, when we are booting up our uh, operating uh, system so in it kernel level all these informations are present inside this uh, boot folder so you should be very careful with this uh, and you should not be uh, deleting any files or anything from this unless and until you know what you are gonna uh, you are going to do the another very important folder is uh, slash dev so this contain all the information about all the device drives which you have connected if you have connected a hard disk if you have you have terminals all these uh, uh, storage device your all these things are kept inside this uh, and dev folder uh, another important folder is slash Pros, P -R -O -C, pro so this particular folder contains a uh, system level information all your information all the process level information so if there are uh, multiple processes running on the, your system so it will have uh, uh, the information so 8455 or 8486 these are the folder numbers and these are the process id numbers so there will be a process with uh, these numbers running on your system so it will have those informations about uh, it will have the information about your process uh, in that particular uh, folders so another uh, important folder is slash mnt mnt so this is contain the mount point information so if you have multiple mount points so uh, you can get the mount point information or you can create mount point yes yeah, slash mnt is the used to create mount points and the last uh, important folder is uh, uh, lost and found it can uh, that particular folder contain uh, the un slash lost So lost and found and you can use that lost and found uh, um, to save un unsaved files so whatever is unsaved you can get it uh, it will be there inside the lost and found uh, folder so these are the important uh, uh, folders which are there inside your uh, root or main parent directory I uh, hope you are able to understand we'll go and do a deep dive uh, inside all these folders in the later part of the cl classes. Uh, thank you.